Okay, I wanted to talk to you about something known as Harberger's Triangle, also known as the dead weight loss, due to monopoly. Okay, but first, we got to go back to competition. So you have a market supply curve, you have a market demand curve, here's your competitive price, PC, your competitive quantity, QC. The blue area here represents something known as consumer surplus. The green area here represents something known as producer surplus. Okay, now what is each of these? What is consumer surplus? What is producer surplus? Okay, well, consumer surplus is the difference between the maximum price consumers are willing to pay, and that's all these price points along that market demand curve. The market demand curve represents the marginal benefit to consumers of the good, right? So that's the same as the maximum price they'd be willing to pay for successive quantities of these goods as you move along that demand curve, right? So demand curve is maximum price consumers are willing to pay. What's the actual price they pay? Well, right here, right? So consumer surplus is the difference between the maximum price consumers are willing to pay and the actual price they pay in the competitive market. So that's this area here in blue. Producer surplus is the difference between the actual price producers receive, that's going to be the competitive price here, and the minimum price they would need in order to produce each quantity of the good, right? So that's given by the supply curve. The supply curve represents the minimum price producers need to produce that unit of the good, right? So we use producer surplus as a proxy measure for the well-being of producers. We use consumer surplus for as a proxy measure for the well-being of consumers, right? Okay, so both consumers and producers are members of society, right? So let's say that this market had been competitive and then all of a sudden, for some reason, it becomes a monopoly, right? It could be government establishing a monopoly in this industry and not allowing any other firms to compete. Well, then the market demand curve would become that monopolist average revenue curve, right? And therefore, the monopolist marginal revenue curve, same vertical intercept, but twice as steep. Okay, so that's their marginal revenue curve. What's the monopolist going to do? Well, they're going to maximize their profit, right? So this would become the monopoly quantity right here. And this would be the monopoly price. So the monopoly price is higher than the competitive price. Here's the competitive price. Here's the monopoly price, right? And the monopoly quantity is less than the competitive quantity. Okay, well, you can't have any consumer surplus on these units of production once it's monopoly monopolized because they no longer exist. So this area here falls out of the consumer surplus. It's gone now. And you can't have a producer surplus on something that no longer exists exist is no longer quantities no longer being produced so this area falls out of producers surplus 
So this upper triangle that falls out of consumer surplus plus this lower triangle that falls out of producer surplus, that combined area is known as the dead weight loss. That's Harberger's triangle. That's Harberger's triangle, huh? Okay. Now, there's something else, though, that happens here. Okay. Uh, instead of the competitive price here, this is the monopoly price. So all that's left of consumer surplus is the area above the monopoly price. So this right here, that's all that's left of consumer surplus. This rectangle right here, PM minus PC, multiplied by QM. I'm going to color it green now because that used to be part of consumer surplus, but now it's been transferred to the monopolist. It's not part of the dead weight loss because somebody's still getting it, the monopolist. And the monopolist is still part of society as a whole. So this rectangle is a transfer, okay, from consumers to the monopolists. Huh? So it's kind of like the monopolist gives up this lower triangle and the dead weight loss, but they gain this rectangle. Consumers, all that's left of consumer welfare is this area here. Consumers lose this rectangle, and they also uh, lose this upper triangle in the dead weight loss, huh? The entire dead weight loss right here, that's lost to all of society. That's the social welfare loss. That's the amount of allocational inefficiency measured in dollars that's caused by monopolization of this industry, right? So monopolies, great thing for the monopolists, bad thing for consumers, bad thing for society as a whole. And this little graph here provides us a very nice way to be able to document the different types of loss to society as a whole, the dead weight loss, the loss to consumers, consumers lose this and they lose this, right? Okay, so, but the dead weight loss, also known as Harberger's Triangle, okay, that's the social welfare loss due to monopoly. It's measured in dollars, right? So uh, it's, it's a nice little way to be able to say, hey, this is how much in dollars monopoly in this industry is cost in society. So monopoly, not so good for society, not so good for consumers, may be a great thing for the monopolists, but not for society, not for consumers.